Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mower. And this, this is... is a beautiful flower. Yes. And this is IF Extra. <laughs> yeah, you meet Dave. He's been very naughty. <laughs> he's been scratching his ear till it bleeds, so he's had to have a little collar on. Yeah. Look, what a pretty flower you look, don't you? You look very beautiful, don't you? He's very yeah, cute. He's very cute. <laughs> You're a beautiful kind of flower. Yeah, he did have um, the cone of shame from the vets to start with, yeah. but that gets in the way of everything. So yeah. we got him a nice flower one instead. Yeah. It stops him scratching, but it looks very pretty too. You're a beautiful flower, aren't you? You are. <laughs> anyway, what have you been up to this week? Um, getting loads of stuff out of the way, mm. a bit of interference. Oh, good, um, good. <laughs> hoping to get a bit more of that done yeah, over the yeah. weekend as yeah. well, as well as cleaning up the office slightly, because I'm supposed to be cleaning up the office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm really far over. There we go. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Take so. out the vets as usual. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably going to the vets, who yeah. knows? Uh, yeah. That's what we've been doing, How many it? times did we go to the vets in the last week? The last two weeks, four, about four five times, yeah. times. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, they're all good, that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for anyone who uh, listens to these cat updates that we give you, um, Grum well, both of their <clears throat> blood tests are back. Grumble's thyroid and kidney stuff is all looking perfect. good. Yeah. Uh, she says he's perfect. He's on the right medication, yeah. doesn't need to up it or down it or anything, yep. So that's nice. And Dave's like, not quite there yet, so he doesn't need it yet. Yeah. So that's good. Good, to know. good boy, aren't you? Yeah. You're a good flower. Yeah. Unless you take the flower off, then he scratches his ear again. <laughs> you naughty boy. You are a naughty boy. Yeah, you are. Yes, really. Anyway, why don't we see who won this week's awards? Pitch for the week this week goes to Aya-chan for a fashion forward feline. It just really stood up, uh, stood out. I love those bright colours and the beautiful pink glasses. Well done, Aya-chan. My favourite description this week was UK shaped plug, no socket in sight, pink background, by act of kindness. I don't know quite why, but something about the clarification that we're just talking about the plug here, definitely not the socket, just entertained me. Having said that, you do still get people here saying plug socket, so maybe it is worth clarifying. Nice work, act of kindness. Community pick of the week this week goes to Cookie Crumble for cute ball python hatching from its egg. Oh, that is such a beautiful little baby snake. I love it. The colours are amazing. Well done, Cookie. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there, as always. Now go and see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So, last week in the forums, I said, tell us two places you'd like to visit in your lifetime and why. I said, I really want to go to Japan. Because of the scenery and the high-tech hustle and bustle of Tokyo. And then I'd also like to go to Canada because it's such a beautiful country. And I think the food would be cool. And I'd like to go across there on a train. Mm. They can relax and just look at the views. You see, now you, you've said the thing that I'd, I'd be quite up for, which is like going on a long oh, train yeah, journey. Train journey yeah. uh, you know, like Orient Express or oh, something. Oh, yeah, totally, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd be quite hyped to get the Caledonian sleeper yeah. from... Um, uh, so go from King's Cross or St Pancras? I don't know which one it is. But yeah. King's Cross, I think. From that. King's Cross to Edinburgh. That would mm. be cool. It would. Except we're sort of halfway Halfway between. So yeah, Anyway, we'd so we'd have to travel to London to then get the train back up past ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Yeah. Philip um, Fox yeah, said, sorry. I want to visit Canada as well. I love nature, the cold, but also the area of Vancouver, the cities, towns nearby, etc. The other one I would love to visit is Peru, from the beach to the jungle and the mountains and the main cities. It's a must for me, as my dad decided to go and live there some years ago. But it's very expensive and I haven't visited him yet. Luckily, he visits me once a year. Mm. Or maybe you'll get a chance to visit him. Yeah, that'd be that'd quite be nice. really cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Have to mm -hmm. keep an eye out for any uh, bears eating marmalade sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> uh, Zelford says, New Zealand, because Lord of the Rings makes sense uh maori culture yeah and i want to see a kiwi oh cool yeah <laughs> um iceland because northern lights the glaciers and hot springs nice. um uh what was i going to say new zealand mm -hmm. yeah uh kiora kautau was it, is, is it was that right? <laughs> i can't remember now is we, we watched taskmaster new zealand which is excellent mm -hmm. um probably the best version of taskmaster mm -hmm. and um yeah they they there's like a, a thing in New Zealand to try and get 
traditional Maori expressions into okay. uh, popular culture, non, popular culture yeah, normal cool. speech. Cool. Um, so they're sort of encouraging people to say things like kia ora, which is sort yeah. of good day, I oh, think, or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I digress. Yeah, cool. MRC25 not only has two, but has five places they'd like to visit. Japan, because of the food, the scenery, the beauty of cities like Tokyo and Kyoto. Montreal, I've heard from my friends, it's beautiful. And while I'm a Sharks fan, I've always wanted to experience the atmosphere of Canadians game. Some of the best fans in hockey. Then Manchester, specifically Old Trafford. I've always wanted to watch a Manchester United game. Well, it's not far from us, is it? Yeah. Monaco. I know the Monaco Grand Prix is boring compared to most F1 races, but it's historic and a beautiful event. And Belgium for nice cuisine, beautiful cities and the Belgian Grand Prix. Uh-oh, there's a theme here. Mm. <laughs> these, are all, these are all places that have... Well, I don't think Manchester has a, a Grand Prix, but they do have Manchester United. So. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> You, I, I feel like can you see Old Trafford from Media City, or I am I? Know. Or no, maybe it was some sort of football museum or something. But I remember when I was milling around oh, yeah, at Media City last it. time. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, Belgium, though, yeah. Express can be to Nederland. Yeah, you yeah. Do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I can say um, in beer, as to be <laughs> a beer, please. You know, <laughs> all of the. Um, important, things. important things. You yeah. can order some food and, and desserts and things. Would you? Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I assume they say waffle, not maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, Duolingo teaches you all kinds of useful stuff, mm. uh, like um, uh, Hitchbite my, no, Hitchbite my, you uh, hebt mein Brook. Wow, what's that? Uh, I'm sorry, you have my trousers. <laughs> this is genuinely one of the things that it teaches you. And Botaham, which is sandwich. Yeah, there's a lot of Botaham going Lots on. Lots of sandwich, oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I digress. Cool, right, now we're going to go and see what we'll be doing next week in the forums. I will start with a four-letter word, and the next person has to change just one letter to make it a different word. Then the next person changes one letter in that word, and so on. Let's see how far we can get without repeating any words. Here's your starter. Love. If you'd like to join in with that, just head over to the Forum Games Forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Cool. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night there is no quiz again, because we're not going to be here. So, um, the next quiz is actually going to be on the 13th of October. So, I can't tell anything about the artist this week. I see. And I can't tell you anything about what happened last week, because there was no quiz last week either. This, this, this is true. <laughs> so, it's very brief, this bit. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've kind of unexpectedly ended up in a situation where we're busy two Sundays in a row. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm. yeah, yeah. We'll be back next week and then, I don't know, maybe just we just roll through yeah, just to the end through. of the season. Absolutely, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're not here tomorrow, but yeah. we are back the following week, yeah, the 13th. 13th of October. Indeed, um, yeah. So, sorry that there's been no quizzes for two weeks, but hopefully the beautiful flower made up for it. <laughs> Okay, that's all the news for now. Just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved. You can play on the web at playinterference.com or search for Interference in the App Store on your device and download the app. You can also join the chat with us over on Discord, playinterference.com slash Discord. And uh, maybe we'll post some pictures of the beautiful flower on there. <laughs> we will. He always looks very grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> with his flower on. Uh, um, he's unimpressed. He's doing the, he's facing away from me and I can see his ear moving. Um, <laughs> yeah, listen to He knows I'm talking about it. Yeah. Uh, Discord. Or if you'd like to give us a bit of ongoing monthly support for running the game, building new stuff, want to do some new game modes, got like a load of interesting zeitgeist things planned as well when cool. I can get to that. Um, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash interference, and you get support status in interference, so you get things like replays, you get some extra game modes, all kinds of stuff, and if you're a quiz player, you get a custom entrance shout out from Ava. We just got an entrance shout out from Grumble. Yeah. We're, we're up here. We're up here, Grumble. He knows the way. Yeah. <laughs> the door's open. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. We'll see you again next week. Yep, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.